here in Jonesboro in Northeast Arkansas. Applications at arearlylearning.org. Arkansas Early Learning is a nonprofit organization. KLEK LP Jonesboro, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. It's now time for Community Conversations, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council, or our underwriters or sponsors. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday to you. I almost forgot what today was. <laughs> Happy Thursday to you. I hope that everyone is having a great start to your day. You're tuned in to Community Conversations with Quabila Jones on KLEK 102.5 FM. And my very special guest today is Mr. Aaron J. Fisher. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All right. How are you? I'm doing well. All right. So I've been knowing Aaron for several years. And ever since I've known him, he's been a musician of all sorts. Music. Uh -huh. How can I say? Singer, songwriter, um, instrument player, all that jazz. So today he's going to be talking about his new album uh, coming up called Finding My Strength. Um, now, there's a couple singles he's going to be releasing soon. He's going to do a listening party. But before we get into that, first we want to get a, some background information on Mr. Aaron. Tell us who you are. <laughs> Uh, my name is Aaron Fisher, originally from Memphis, Tennessee, graduated Arkansas State, and bachelor's in music composition. Uh, I guess that's about it. Okay. Um, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Oh. <laughs> you know how folks do. Anyway. Okay, it's going to be one of kind of day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Starting the morning off right. All right. I want to say good morning to Dr. Sharice Jones Ranch and Bernard Cobbs for checking in. Thank you all. All right. So let's talk about um, the message and the man behind the music. You know, many people know anyone who writes music, who's a lover of music, knows there's always a message and something behind the music. No, someone doesn't just sit down and say, I want to write a song just because. No, there's always something deeper. And so, and then especially with gospel music, there's always some emotion tied to good, bad, and different, you know. Right. Um, so tell us what was your motivation? What prompted you? What what was that, mm, that something that made you decide, I'm going to write these songs? What were you trying to get, and then what emotions are you trying to pull out from the listener? Uh, well, finding my strength is basically to, to help people. And I know people say that all the time as far as with gospel music. We just want to help people come closer to Christ. But uh, uh, for one thing, we have to start looking realistically about things. Okay. Uh, the, the thing is, is I've been like playing for different churches since I was actually 12 years old. So I've been in the hour, I've seen the behind the scenes and actually been able to hear different testimonies and hear different aspects of church as far as how people feel, what makes things. And one thing I've seen is that people don't really, as far as in this time now, people don't really like, everybody has their own way to worship mm -hmm. and their own way to praise God. So then what we get into is we get into all these tropes and all these traditions and this is the way that you're supposed to do this and this is the way that you're doing that. But uh, I know I had a conversation with one pastor probably a couple of weeks ago and I said, tradition doesn't save people. And so what finding my strength is, is trying to meet people where they are so they can feel comfortable in going back to God in their own way and telling mm -hmm. them that God loves you wherever you are. Not necessarily because you don't shout like this or because you don't worship like mm -hmm. that. Because that's the uh, thing, especially in the world today. You got a lot of people who celebrated Independence Day yesterday, but mm -hmm. you got a lot of people who aren't free. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that that's the whole thing with that is is finding your strength in in yourself and in God and okay. just being able to worship freely. And so for those out there listening who may have a misunderstanding, um, you know, it's not about turning away from religion or turning away from tradition altogether. Right. It's about incorporating something else having a spiritual connection mm -hmm. along with the religious traditions um, and making them connect and work for you mm -hmm. versus um, I can attest to if you only follow someone else's way of doing someone else's teaching or someone else's you go. goddess you will lose yourself along exactly. the way so you have to find your way for yourself 
according to God's word. And you know how you know how when you go to when you go to church and you go and you get saved and they're just like, okay, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't. Well, that's not you trying to get the person to come to Christ because of love. That's out of fear. Okay. But God is love. God is in fear. Okay. So how in the world are you supposed to transcribe that to, okay, well, God loves you. We see where you are. God sees where you are. This is what you do to get better. And I always say you can't sit up there and preach a conviction without correction. Okay. Amen. All right, so let's talk about some of the titles um, of the songs on the album. Um, one that I have listened to is called Worthy is the Lamb, and it is a really nice worship song. Now, first, before we get into this, can you please explain to some that may not know the difference between a praise and a worship song? A praise song is telling God thank you for what he's done, but a worship song is for who he is. Okay. So that's the thing is, is God, if you never did anything for me because of who you are, that's a song too, okay. amen, that I still worship. <laughs> so that's what that is. Okay, so tell us more about Worthy is the Lamb. Uh, Worthy is the Lamb, uh, I'm also here for a Gospel Songwriters Conference in Memphis, Tennessee, starting on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, this is my second year doing this, and they're actually the ones who gave me the opportunity, who helped uh, cultivate me to help me. And I'm supposed to be having a listening party on that Tuesday night. Okay. And I actually wrote this song, uh, Worthy is the Lamb, last year during the conference okay uh and it was basically me seeing everything how everything was because you know how you have all this stuff planned <laughs> and then you're just like i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that and then don't nothing go the way that you thought it would yeah because god was laughing at you for you making plans <laughs> exactly so worthy is the lamb uh the 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 first part of it is despite how i may feel about it despite everything that's around it uh, the lord my god is in control the thought of him just soothes my soul his will be done and mine be done with wow basically saying whatever happens god is still worthy even though this did not go the way that i thought it would god is still worthy so i should still worship him wholeheartedly for that amen all right so now you mentioned the uh, gospel songwriters conference and i just want to let people know that not only are you working on your own projects you take the gifts that god has given you and help other people yes. that want to get into the same business and it may not be about putting an album together getting it published and you know becoming a major artist however some people just might want to write mm -hmm. they might want to write for other people they mm -hmm. might want to write just to help soothe their it might be therapy for them mm -hmm. to write and sing and it may never get published or heard by the masses but however you still take your gifts and talents and bless other people with them as well so thank you for doing that no no problem um, because, I, I try to <laughs> <laughs> because there are many people who don't well a lot of us have gifts that we sit on mm -hmm. um we don't utilize them to their fullest and you are taking the opportunity to give back to others what god has given to you yes Okay, so let's talk about uh, some other titles on the album and what was the message? What is the message behind those songs? Well, you know, it is one song called The Message. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, and that song basically deals with um, all of the cliche terms that we use oh, wow. <laughs> in church. And it's so funny because the, the uh, first line of it is, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. <laughs> And you know how we use this so many times. The weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Yes, it's Bible, but what does that really mean to you? Okay. It's the thing. Uh, it's the same thing that you were saying as far as we use things that we've heard before. But what is our heart actually saying as an individual? Wow. And so it turns around in the song and it says that I don't mean to sound cliche. I'm just saying how I feel. Okay. And so it, it's kind of a turnaround, but it's a, it's a real fun song. But And I, I can't wait for everybody to hear it because, you know, I self-produce and I'm beatboxing on it and oh everything. <laughs> so it, it's, it's going to be really, really crazy. But that's, um, that's one song. And another song I can tell you about is okay. uh, called Wannabe. Okay. And uh, I just really want, you know, I love musician sheds. Okay. Uh, and I listen to a lot of music that's like from overseas. Okay. I don't normally listen to kind of the, the mainstream. I listen to a lot of overseas and indie artists and things like that. So I said, you know what? I want to do a song that kind of has a, a message of just wanting to be real with God. 
But okay. at the same time, when you hear it, it'll be one of those songs for musicians to take to their shed and let me see what y'all can come up with this. Because okay. even when I did it, I had to put that music degree to work when I wrote it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I don't know how anybody going to follow this, but all right. So yeah, that's that's Wanna Be. And uh, one more song is um, is Beyond Redemption, um, which is for people who feel like when you walk into church, and there's so much judgment there. You're going into church because you're trying to get healed and trying to get comfort, but there's always this obstacle of the people, the people, because the people are looking at you a certain way. So it, it, it delves into those real topics of, God, I'm trying to see you, but there's so many other folks here who, who in the way, who's sitting there turning around looking at me crazy, like, do I really want to be here right now? Wow. So it's just added on obstacles, but that's beyond redemption. And that says beyond my hurt, beyond my pain, beyond the struggle, beyond the strain. I'm in a process. And that's the biggest thing we got to understand. We're never going to be perfect. So it says I'm in a process, but time still remains. I'm choosing redemption. I'm born again. Amen. So yeah. Those are some songs I'll doubt. All right. Well, we have some uh, Facebook comment from Mr. Steve Richardson. Good morning to you. He says, good morning. What is the name of the album and where can it be found? The album is called Finding My Strength. And when will it be available for It'll her? be released at the end of August on all digital media outlets. All right. So we'll make sure, Mr. Steve, to let you know when the release, um, the actual release of the album is. Um you can hear some songs uh, today is not Wednesday but on Sundays and Wednesdays we do all day gospel so we'll make sure to put uh, whatever songs a Mr. Aaron sends us yes. into the rotation and if you hear a song please reach out to him and let him know that you heard it um, give him some love and want to also say good morning to Miss Melissa Jackson um, <laughs> thank you for tuning in alright so I want to get back into the gospel writers con- gospel songwriters conference yes so what can well first of all how can people say from here Jonesboro mm-hmm. even though it's going to be in Memphis that's only like less than an hour away right. um how can they sign up register what can they expect at the conference uh you go to the the page well I'll tell you about what goes on at the conference because I'm doing so much at the conference <laughs> um I'm teaching three classes Uh, One of them is leadership and music ministry. Another one is for the youth, that's songwriting, where I don't tell them how to write songs, but I basically give them more tools for them to use. Okay. Uh, And then I'm teaching a music transcription class. Okay. So those are the three things. But also, it's different... it's different artists, different gospel artists coming from all over the nation. We have somebody from Seattle, then we got somebody from Pine Bluff, we got someone from Houston, Texas that are coming in and they're teaching this choir of all of these people new songs for them to take back to their church. So you would go to the Gospel Songwriters page and you would just like it and go on that uh, website and that's how you register and it, it's really fun and the yeah. area where we're having it is, is is everywhere. Is it on Facebook? Yes, it's on Facebook. Okay, so you so. go to the Gospel Songwriters Conference community. Okay, so I'll find that information yes. and want to <laughs> um, put some more comments. This, oh, Miss Melissa says, "Proud of you, Aaron." Oh, um, thank you. Catherine Spencer Hoover says, "Yes, Aaron, love you." <laughs> <laughs> I just did choir camp with her. That's another thing I love doing is we do choir camp. Okay. And I just did a, a jazz session and a songwriting session with, with that too. And taught vocal jazz there too. So. Oh, wow. I want to say also good morning to Miss DeAngelis Bullard. Uh, thank you for checking in. So, I mean, you are a man of many talents, many skills, many gifts. Not only do you do gospel, you also do jazz. Um, yeah. So, with that... Have you had any criticism of how can you go back and forth? Why don't you just stick with one genre of music? Has anyone ever criticized you for it? If they had, I haven't listened to it. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we're all different. We, we're made up of different components. 
like that that that's part of the reason why I'm I'm doing the Finding My Strength album now. Okay. Is because you sit there and you be like, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, when people get saved and they be like, well, I can't do this now and I can't do that now. I'm like, what? What you just you you're not in gluten no more because you saved? <laughs> what what happened? You too. What, what 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 you what what changed? <laughs> okay, so through your music, you're trying to convey the message that there's something deeper than just going to church and going following the traditional steps yes. of go in sit down stand up pray praise scripture sermon Mm -hmm. you know go like there's so routine (laughs) yes it's so routine um uh i really love the the service is where the choir sing and it's and the spirit is just feel so much the pastor just be like okay time to go (laughs) they don't even have to preach yes but sometimes that's needed uh i remember one sunday it was a while ago uh, Elder Mae Walker. Okay. When she didn't even preach, she just sat up there and she just called people out and just prophesied to them privately. That's another thing, some folks. Privately. Don't be telling all my business. I might not be all the way there yet, but that's why the good Lord is working with me. Amen. <laughs> oh my goodness, amen. <laughs> but yeah, she 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 just told everybody to come up and and told them, whispered in their ear, and they just went into worship in their own little corner. And in their own way, too. Yes. It, it wasn't a thing about, well, you got to do this. God wants you to sit here and do a two-step for 45 measures right here. right. Now. It's not about all that. And I think that's what we get so misconstrued is that we get so caught up in the traditions and the way other people do it. And that's a, a big thing is, is finding yourself okay. as well. Finding That's why it's finding my strength. It's not finding God. It's finding my strength what specifically do i need okay. it's like when you go to the doctor and you have something wrong with you the doctor not finna prescribe flu medicine for you when you got chicken pox that's right you gotta to- you gotta go through a totally different process wow. it's all in the same realm to get better but you have to go through a different process and i think that's the realness that we lose when we sit there and we go into things like that is we have to be real with ourselves first all right we have some more comments i want to say good morning good morning to miss rita miller and miss Catherine says they better not amen hallelujah <laughs> give and pray my so, people hallelujah and, so, <laughs> and good morning um miss rita also says good morning aaron and q so proud of you aaron oh thank you all right and then uh, nadine stewart says love you nephew do your thing um, Charles hey, T. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles Winfield says strength. Amen. Thank you everybody for checking in uh, and tuning in. Please send, um, please share this video, share this message um, because this is not just an album full of songs that are just words. It's there's a message and a spirit behind every single word, every single song that you right. put out and all these songs are coming from your heart. This is something that, like we have talked off air, we've talked, you know, these are things that are coming from within, whatever direction God is leading you in, you're just trying to help others exactly. find their way as well. Right. Um, sharing your inspiration with others. So I hope that everyone out there that says they support you, continue to support you and support this project. Yeah. And purchase your album when it's released in August. Yes. <laughs> so please keep us up to date on that. Um, I surely will. Now with the listening party that you're going to be doing, um, how many songs will you do that day, that night, that at that event? <laughs> uh, I probably, as far as what's planned out in my head, because we don't know where the spirit is going to move. Okay. Uh, but as far as what's playing out in my head, it's probably four. But I will say that uh, I will be also selling an EP, which is not really an EP because it's like 15 songs on it. But um, yeah, I write a lot. Amen. If you don't use your gift, God going to take it away. Um, but yeah, it's like 15 songs on it. And they're not only the three singles from this project, but it's also other songs that I have written that I'm just like, hey, this will be a good start up. Okay. <laughs> so it's it's songs from, from that catalog of unreleased material. And so where can everyone find this information? So in case they want to attend. Uh, you can find it on my 
actually my own personal page, okay. which is composer Aaron J. Fisher. You can also find it on the Gospel Songwriters page. Okay. And you can also go to my website, AaronJFisherMusic.com. All right. So please go check it out. Um, Chantel Machane says, very proud and happy for you. You have always been so talented. Thank you. Oh, thank you. For saying that. Thank you for the words of encouragement. So as we get ready to wrap up, um, let's give out the information again on where when and where in Memphis for the Gospel Songwriters Conference. Because um, we didn't say the location and the time. Oh, yes. That. It's going to be at Oak Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Okay. That's going to be on U.S. Highway 64. And that's going to be July 10th through the 12th. It's okay. going to be from 9 a.m. all the way until like 5 p.m. <laughs> yes, Lord. But then we have revival and everything throughout the night programs and banquets and things like that. So just come out as far as the listening party. The listening party is free because I know us black folks don't like to pay for them. But it's free. Amen. Okay. Those are the words of our guest, not of Kelly <laughs> K. Please don't shoot Kelly K. See. All right. All right. I can't thank you enough, Mr. Aaron, for joining. I keep saying Aaron. Aaron. Call me however you want. No, I, I want to get it right. There was no IPA on my birth certificate, so. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us Thank today you. and sharing your spirit and sharing your gifts with us. I Thank tried you. to get him to sing a little bit, but I, and you know, due to copyright and all that good stuff, Facebook will shut us down. So I'm sorry See. we can't play any of the music today. But again, check out. Kelly K on Sundays for Victory Praise Gospel all day Sunday and all Gospel Wednesdays from 5 a.m. till 6 p.m. So you'll be sure to hear some of Aaron's music play on one of those days. So yes. thank you so much again. Thank you. I'm sitting here looking at myself on the camera and I can't find my hair. So that's going to be my next CD, Finding My Hair. Oh my God. We're going to do that too. Just cut it all be off real. and go ball. See? <laughs> Nah, I'm half on the weed. Y'all ain't gonna know who I am. Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness. <laughs> See, this is the kind of day. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but please go out and support Aaron. Um, his album is called Finding My Strength. Uh, it will be released officially the end of August. Yes. However, there's a listening party happening July 10th. Is that the Yes. Day? July 10th. July 10th in Memphis. Um, go to his personal Facebook page. Go to his website. You can find all the information or go to the Gospel Songwriters Conference Facebook page mm -hmm. if you would like to attend the conference. Um, is it open for all age groups? Yes. All Everybody. Groups. Okay. Come all one, come all. So, will, but, but will people be organized or separated by their age or maybe uh, Yes, there are some things for the adults. There are some things for the youth and the children. So, everybody, bring everybody bring your baby daddy okay. your baby mama so those of you who have a few days off um, or just you know are retired all for the summer go to the gospel and if you can't come to the concert if you can't come to the conference then you can still come to the concert which will be that thursday night at okay. seven so, all right which will be free as well Amen. all right well thank you everybody for tuning in to kelly k today is an abbreviated show please enjoy some mixes after the announcements i hope everyone has a great day and remember it doesn't cost anything to be kind thank you for listening to community